weird. I hope my mom doesn't watch. Or my dad. Are you ready to film a YouTube video? We're doing it about birth control. Fun stuff. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. It is officially going to be my four month birth control update, and I'm gonna tell you all the reasons why I am so happy I made this choice to get off hormonal birth control, and also the reasons why you should as well if you've been taking it. If you haven't seen my past vlogs about this, you should definitely check them out. I will link them right below in my description. So check those out probably prior to watching this just so that you know how my journey started and where it is at this point now. Anyways, I have been on it since I was like, I wanna say in grade eight, I think it was, and I started on it for my acne, and now I'm officially off of it, four months free, and I feel so, so good. So during this video, I'm gonna cover six topics. I'm gonna go over my mood, my periods, protection, weight, headaches, and my acne. So if you're interested in hearing about those things, then stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and it lets me know and it really supports me and little Bane down here that who loves to just sit on this couch when I film. Oh, his ears are so soft. I love doing this to him. I don't know if anyone else does, but with their dogs. So the first topic is going to be about mood. So I've always suffered with anxiety and depression, uh, seasonal depression, things like that, and I've worked so tremendously hard to make sure that my mood and my depression and anxiety will not take over my life. I was really worried because the last time I got off my birth control, I was really suffering with depression and anxiety and I was like, how am I supposed to deal with this? Like, am I forever gonna have to be on birth control pills? So like that sort of worried me. So anyways, this time around, I called my naturopath, I did a lot of research and she gave me supplements. So I take Vitex and I take vitamin B6 or it's actually like an active B6, so it has several. That makes a huge, huge difference. Just recently I went to visit some family and for a week and I forgot my pills and I was like, wow, like feeling the depression and like the anxiety for sure. So I know those are working for me, which makes me really happy. So I want to stick with them. I just even purchased mine on Amazon and they came within a couple days. So it wasn't like anything crazy and it wasn't like a crazy price or anything. So it was perfect. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video where I talk about my supplements, you should definitely check it out. I will link that below too. Um, highly recommend those supplements. So my mood has actually been way better. I know Kyle had suggested like to stay on birth control just because he was worried that my mood was gonna be like up and down. Um, so I was really happy to note that like this time around is so much better and he agreed he's like very surprised So that makes me happy because I didn't want to have to put him through anything either Because when you're in a relationship with somebody that struggles with mental health issues like they're also Well involved so I just wanted to make sure that like he was okay with my decision too Even though it is my body. I just wanted to include him so I was so happy that I did my research and all that and made this experience better. So definitely don't just like cut cold turkey, try to do your research, maybe contact a natural path, things like that. So anyways, I'm kind of rambling. So next one. Okay, so number two is my current periods and how they are. So they haven't fluctuated really at all, which was surprising. I thought they'd be like all wacky and I wouldn't know when they are, but they are staying consistently, uh, same as if I was on birth control. So like kind of surprised and last time I did it too it was the same so I think maybe I just either got lucky or that's just how it was because I have had them consistently for so many years uh, so anyways they are definitely a little more crampy I would say uh, not necessarily painful but like the first day I'm just so uncomfortable I'm just like, <clears throat> like I feel like just 10,000 pounds heavier and I just want to take a bath and do nothing but I've also been like really gentle with myself it's like okay then take a bath and like eat little snacks that you want in the bathtub and like just have a good time. So like I'm not like, oh my gosh, I have to do this and I have to do that. Like I make sure that I just like take the time to rest and like be gentle on myself. And it's honestly been great and it's kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie because now I'm just like, yay. It's like I have my period so I get a free day to just like chill, you know? That's it, a little crampier, uh, but obviously something to consider if you have really painful periods and the birth control is helping, it's like you have to make that decision for yourself. But for me, I would have rather have more crampy periods and get off that crap. No offense, if you wanna stay on it. <laughs> 
So number three is about protection. So right now I use an app called Femometer. Uh, it came with a little thermometer, so I actually bought the thermometer on Amazon thinking that the app like came with it, but the app's actually free, so you can download it, um, I believe, on like iPhone, Android, so you can check that out. I really like it. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things you can put on, but right now I'm not currently taking my temperature because I realized that it goes by your period and not like your temperature, so I was like, well, there's no really point, I guess. And there's tons of things that you can like add and like the lightness of your period and the color and this and that. So there's like tons of options on the app to make it very personalized. Uh, but I just stick with like when my period's going to be. It tells me when I'm like ovulating. It tells me when I'm like have a high chance of fertility. So like things like that are good to know. We are currently using condoms if you really need to know. But uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, that's just it. <laughs> I hope my mom doesn't watch or my dad so topic number four is weight I actually lost weight when I got off the pill I felt like my mental health was a lot better so I was sleeping better I was less stressed and I think too in general being more gentle with myself has helped a lot uh, but yeah I actually lost weight which I was really excited about but I know the first time I got off birth control I don't know I believe I gained weight I know I didn't like lose tremendous pounds or anything I know that I didn't make a mental note of that so I either stayed the same or gained weight I'm not really sure but uh, anyways it was it's a phenomenal experience now like just losing weight because I've always like struggled I'll get more toned and stuff and especially as I like lift weights and stuff my body does really well with that but I find like pounds off the scale I've always struggled with I pretty much stay around the same like weight, I just will change my body type. So it was kind of cool to see like the pounds drop. So like, not gonna lie, that was an exciting moment. Number five is probably my favorite one. And it's the fact that I have had no headaches and migraines. Actually, I've had one, but still one compared to like all of them that I've had in the past. I was like chronic migraine girl. I used to have migraines like it was my day job. It was awful. I would miss work. I'd have to just like sit in a dark room with no sound or anything. It was not a good time. So if you are someone that has a lot of headaches and migraines, you should definitely try this out because you might be surprised that there is such a correlation between the two. I had no idea until I originally did uh, some research when I wanted to get off hormonal birth control and I was so pumped to try it and now I'm so happy. Like I'm like, is this how people live everyday life with no headaches? Like they don't even like feel anything up in your brain? It's great. It's a great time. I'm very excited. This is probably the most thrilling part for me. I'm on to number six, the last one, which I think people worry a lot about, and it's acne. Um, I personally got like a few little like marks and dots and stuff, but like nothing intense. I thought there was gonna be like pimples everywhere. It wasn't the case at all. I also kind of feel like sometimes as you get older and your hormones change, um, the acne lessens. Like I feel like that in general for me. However, that's not the case for everyone. Um, I do think though with my like ability to like take out sugar and all that stuff out of my diet, that's helped my face and my acne just in a general way, not necessarily correlated to birth control. But I think if you like really watch your diet and take your birth control away, you should be fine as long as you're taking care of your face. Obviously this depends completely on other people like and everybody's different. So you can also like if you are struggling with acne, I would suggest just trying to target that with like, um, what are they called? Like a dermatologist or something? I'm gonna be really embarrassed if that's not what it's called. But the person that helps you with your face and um, maybe try that instead if you are really struggling. But like to me, I was really excited to find out that I didn't have acne. So like that's not the case for everyone, so don't just assume that you will. Okay, so since I started birth control so young, I felt like I didn't even like know myself off birth control and like all the hormones added into my body all these years and I just think like I wanted to test out like what I'm really like. Like what is my mood? What is my you know face gonna look like and my body and my weight and all that stuff. So I was just like genuinely like curious just because I thought as I did research, I'm like, this is not good for you. Like the more you put into your body over the years, like the more it has long-term effects. So I'm just so happy that I was able to cut it out successfully. And I mean, I worked hard for it. I did so much research. I booked appointments with naturopaths. I tried multiple people. Like I've worked to do this and to like provide this information. So like, I really hope that it helps some people or it encourages you guys to get off birth control. I just think this should be like a whole movement of, you know what, screw birth control and people putting hormones in our bodies. Like we need to do better than this for ourselves because we deserve it. 
So I'm super pumped that I could do this four month update for you guys. So anyways, I hope you found this very helpful. Even if you didn't, I hope you enjoyed watching me. Um, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks guys. Thank you.